Hey guys, let's continue using our TI-30XS to perform some of the computations that you might see on the GED. So uh, we are going to look at percents now. You could see percents on your math test, your science test, your social studies mm -hmm. test. Um, in pretty much any instance you see them, you're going to have the calculator. So helpful to know how to do on your calculator. So let's take a look at a few examples here. Okay, first one I have here says find 32% of 17. First thing you need to know is what the word of means. Of means multiply. Whether you're finding half of something or 32% of something, literally of means multiply. So if I want to find 32% of 17, what I'm going to do here is I can just put in 32. Now you can't just put in 32 or you're going to be taking 32 times 17. That's a whole lot of 17. You want 32% of 17. Now, if you are like a lot of my GED students and you forget a lot of your computations and your steps when you're taking your test, that's okay. There's a percent button on the GED. It's right here above the open um, parentheses. So notice that it's in green. So when you want something in green, you have to press the second button and then I can do 32%. Careful, I'm just going to delete that one last thing so I can show you something. It's not the convert to percent button on the close parentheses. Don't use that one with the little arrow. That's the wrong one. Okay, I want the regular plain old percent. So 32% and then I want of, we said of meant multiply. I can use the time sign or I could use the parentheses to multiply. And I was taking 32% of 17, so all times 32% by 17, and I get 5.44. Now be careful for the common student error where they forget the percent sign, and they just do 32 times 17. And they end up with something similar but much larger, 544. That doesn't even make sense that a part or a portion um, less than 17 would be so high. So correct answer then is the 5.44, 32% of 17 is 5.44, or 5 and 44 hundredths. Let's try another. Next one I have, I just wanted to see if I could intimidate you by throwing a fraction and a percent at you. So five, find 33 and one third percent of 105. Looks gross, but easily handled in our TI. So taking a look at our calculator, that first number we need is what's known as a mixed number, 33 and one third. It's got part whole number, part fraction. So if you want to enter a mixed number into your TI, first of all, I would make sure that I'm in math print mode. My calculator is usually in math print mode, but I hit mode. I arrow down to the last line there and right over the math print, press enter to select. So you can get your calculator into math print mode too. It's just easier for inputting fractions. So let me clear out of the screen. And now I can do my 33 and one third percent of 105. So again, in order to do that, the U, N over D, the mixed number button is green. So I'm going to hit the green and then that N over D key. And now it can, it sees, you see here that I can input in my mixed number. The 33 was the whole number. Now I'll arrow over to the fraction for the one arrow over for the third, and then don't forget to arrow out of the fraction before pressing percent. So I'm going to arrow right one more time, and then I want that percent button. Again, that's green, and every time you want a green thing, you have to hit the green button first. So 33 and one third percent, and we wanted, we said of 105. So remember I said that of means the same as multiply, so I'll use parentheses this time. Another way to multiply besides the times button, and I see 33 and one third percent times 105. And you can see that's just 35. Correct answer is 35. Okay, my next problem looks like a word problem, but don't worry, it's not really. It's uh, from a little calculator quiz I have, but let's take a look. It says, in order to find the simple interest accrued in a period of time, multiply the annual interest rate times the starting balance times the time in years. And then I see that I've invested $20,000 at 1.2% interest for two years, and we want to know how much simple interest would accrue. You don't have to know anything. This is from the GED formula sheet, by the way. Um, but you don't even need the formula sheet because I just told you what to do. I just said if you want to find that simple interest, multiply those three numbers. So let's go ahead and multiply those three numbers. 20,000, 1.2%, and 2 for 2 years. So here we go. 20,000, that's easy. So there's my 20,000. Notice I don't put any commas in in a TI. Not necessary. And we want to times that by 
1.2% interest. And again, if you don't forget, if you don't put in the percent button, you're going to get way too much. Super important that you put in the percent that says 1.2 out of every hundred. And then I'm going to times that by the two years. And we see I would make $480 in simple interest. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.